Corrective action to take on varying part lengths or slippage errors on the LASM. To a proper lockout tagout procedure on the machine's main electrical panel. Push in on the yellow slide lever on the machine's main air pressure regulator and do a proper lockout tagout procedure on the regulator. Open the two bottom doors below the saw cutting chamber. You will need to remove the motor gearbox assembly for the LASM. To do this, remove the snap ring on the drive shaft and loosen the bolts on the hub holding the drive shaft to the gearbox. Remove the motor gearbox assembly. Remove the cover from the rear of the motor. Remove the covers from the set screw access holes on the gearbox, one on the top and the other on the side. Rotate by hand the exposed motor shaft until the two set screws are visible through the access holes. Using a torque wrench with a hex key, torque the two set screws to the torque settings shown on the screen. Once this is done, check the teeth on the drive belt pulley on both ends to ensure the teeth are not worn down. The teeth should have almost a 90 degree corner on them to hold the belt in place. No smooth edges off the top flat of the tooth. Here is an example of a good pulley and a worn out pulley. Release the belt from one end of the LASA mounting bracket by removing the nut from the tensioning bolt. Inspect the teeth on the pulleys to see if the edges on the teeth have worn down enough to allow the belt to slip a tooth during operation, which will cause a part length problem or the slippage error. If they show signs of wear, it's time to replace the pulley. Inspect the rest of the drive system. On the motor gearbox end, Remove the gearbox mounting plate. On the idler end, remove the snap ring and loosen the set screw on the encoder and remove the encoder. Loosen the set screw on the bearing and remove the larger mounting plate holding the bearing plate. On each end, slide the pulley and spacers over to inspect the keyways on the pulleys, guide spacers, and shaft along with a key for damage such as rolled edges. Any damaged part needs to be replaced. If there is no damage visible, reassemble both ends of the pulley assemblies. Bolt the gearbox mounting plate back into place. Reinstall the motor cover onto the rear end of the motor and replace the set screw access hole covers. Reinstall the motor gearbox assembly. Tighten the bolts on the gearbox hub holding the drive shaft and reinstall the snap ring. On the idler end, reattach the larger mounting plate, tighten the set screw on the bearing. Reattach the encoder. Tighten the set screw and reinstall the snap ring. Reconnect the drive belt to the LASM mounting plate. Retension the drive belt. Close the two bottom doors and reverse the lockout tagout procedures.